A new word to us might be isometry or isometric. So an isometric transformation or sometimes called rigid motion. Now to be rigid helps us to know what isometry means. If you're rigid, it means you're firm and locked into place. That's kind of what it means to be isometric as well is uh, an isometric transformation one is one that preserves shape, size, it preserves angles, it preserves measurements, it preserves actually everything. Everything about the shape is maintained. So words that might uh, be replaced uh, for isometric might be something like um, the same, right? Uh, same, identical. And this is ultimately what we mean by um, isometry, or in other words, another way soon to be told, congruent. Many of you know this word already, but this is a very important word to our future. Um, but right now, again, we're using the word isometry, and it basically means that everything stays exactly the same. It's rigid. So let's look at some transformations and see if they're isometric. Is a translation isometric? In other words, is this shape identical to this shape? And boy, is it ever. Yes, of course it is. And in the case of a rotation, so here's our rotation, and it got turned uh, to look like this. Are the sides the same? Is the shape the same? Is it the same? Yes, it is. Now you might say, well, it's been turned, but the shape itself, there's nothing changed to it. So a, a rotation is also isometric. How about a reflection? Um, is a reflection isometric? Let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. Are they identical? Yes. Now, some of you say, oh, it's been flipped. It's, it's in a different uh, form. But no, that, it, it has that happened, but it is still isometric because the distances are the same, the angles are the same, the shape is the same, everything is still the same. So what you're learning are, the, are three isometric motions, the transform, translation, the rotation, and the reflection. Now, what might be some that are not isometric? To be non-isometric or non-rigid, right, not isometric, just means that somehow the shape distorts or just changes in any way, really. Um, that could be things, it got bigger, that would be a change, right? Um, it could just totally get distorted. Think of a, a picture that you take, if your normal picture is this, and then you change it to look like this, the people in that picture will look much different. So the ones that are not isometric will distort or change the shape in some way. Let's look at a couple of those. Here are a couple of ways to change the shape and be not isometric. So here's what we call a dilation. Do you see how the shape started small and then its image is larger? Now it's the same shape, but it is not identical. It's not the same size. So this is definitely a no answer for us. Now a stretch is a little bit like a dilation, but you can see what's happening in a stretch is that kind of like this dimension here is getting pulled in one way. So it, it's not staying proportional like this guy was. Uh, it's stretching one of its dimensions differently than the other. So both of these stretches are no. And you can see, again, that you know only one dimension is kind of getting changed in that process. Now, there are other ways to be not isometric. I, I would just say the word distort is a good word for that, which means, you know, you could just wreck the shape and it would be a different shape. Um, there are shearing and other things, too, that are dist dist ways to distort the shape. But most that we'll talk about will be dilation and stretches. This question reminds me of something we'd probably see in about third grade, but that's okay. Um, nothing wrong with a question that feels a little bit easy. 
So here's our pre-image, the original. And uh, for us to claim something is isometric is what they want. Um, they want us to find the one that would be exactly the same size and shape and everything. And that, of course, is C. Now, it has been rotated, but we learned earlier that a rotation is isometric. So this guy is the only one in the group that would be deemed to be isometric. Now, this one here, um, it's the same shape but smaller. Uh, this is not isometric. It would be a dilation though, wouldn't it be? Because the shape is proportional. It's the same shape, but just different size. This one in the middle would be also not uh, isometric. And I think this one would be basically a stretch, wouldn't it? And why I say it's a stretch is that I notice that the height is the same between the two dogs but I notice that this dimension has been pulled wider and so it's a stretch in that manner. Let's look at how this applies to the coordinate grid. I like this question because we start to learn something we might not have known before. And I'll tell you what that is in just a minute. Here are the three points that exist here, A, B, and C. They give us a coordinate rule to apply and they want to know is the result of this going to be a uh, isometric or not isometric relationship. So let me quickly do a little bit of math here. If we apply that rule, we would come up with uh, a negative one and then a negative one because we're making the y's negative, zero and negative four, four and negative one. Now I can't answer whether it's an isometry yet. Let's, let's, uh, let's plot this. There's our a prime. And then at four and negative one is our, our C prime. And then at zero and negative four. Now when I'm done and I look at my original here and compare it to my image, those are the same shapes. And so yes, it is an isometry. And I notice that that is a reflection is what's done it. And I know that reflections are definitely isometric motions. So that's a wonderful thing. This is just like the last question. Here are our three points, A, B, and C. Here's our new coordinate rule. A little bit different. I notice that the Y values, I'm gonna multiply by negative two, leave X alone. So when I do that, I get zero and zero. I get one and negative six. And again, when I multiply this one out, I get five and zero. So as I do this, uh, here is my A prime. At five and zero is my C prime. At one and negative six, which is slightly off my graph, is B prime. And when I look at these two uh, guys here, this guy and this guy, those are not the same triangle. I can actually see that the value here, I mean, the this is the same in the two of them, but this has definitely been stretched. So this is not isometric, and this is a stretch. And actually, take a notice here, let's look at this guy here closely, is maybe that negative two multiplier maybe created that stretch. Think about that for a little bit. So earlier I hinted that maybe there'd be something cool new found here, and this is it. Remember that coordinate rule isn't just an input and an output, it actually is moving the shape. That's something that doesn't happen uh, in our algebra world. When we performed uh, this one right here, we said that the result was a reflection. Well, that's interesting. Um, that that actually performs a reflection. Let's think about why that might be. Why would a reflection happen if I change the original Y into a negative? Well, think about what that would be doing. That's taking a point here and changing it to a point here. That's a reflection over the X axis. How about, this, how about that next one? Why was that a stretch? Let's look and see for clues. Ah, I see a clue. That's doubling and making something negative. And notice it didn't do the same thing to X. So this is some sort of a stretch. 
Now, I wonder what this one would be. You know what it is, don't you? You see the three here and the three here. That makes things bigger. And because they're both getting bigger by the same amount, that would be a dilation. How about this last one? I think this is, for me, the easiest of the group. If I slide everything two here to the x, that's like going two to the right, and if I minus subtract three from y to everything, that's like going down three. You know what that is, don't you? If you go two to the right and down three, that's a translation. So the thing I'm trying to tell you is that hidden in these rules is motion, and that's coming soon.